Black Eye Sex for Beginners, episode one, all about the dock. Now, just before I start, if I look to the side, um, I have my notes at the side, so basically, yeah, that's why I keep looking. Now, before I start the video, um, yes, this is a video about, and for beginners, about the Mac OS X dock. Now, I'm going to um, split this up into categories. The use of the dock, functions, different functions, and pros and cons. Okay, so let's get right into it. So basically, this is my dock. In it, I have my Finder window, which every Mac has as standard. You can't move it or pull it out. Finder, Dashboard, Mac App Store, Mail, Safari, iChat, Address Book, Time Machine, Photo Book, Skype, System Preferences, Fireworks, Facebook, iTunes, ScreenFlow. And here I have my own um, folders, uh, which I customise. I have my iLife 11 folder, so if I click on it, it will show all my iLife um, applications. My Office 2008. And my Office 2011. And my apps. And at the very end, we just have trash, which you can see is full. Now, to delete trash, right click, empty trash. Empty trash. You hear that noise? It means that trash is empty. Now, say for example, you want to take something out of the dock. For example, say I want to take out time machine. I'll hold it, and you see it will kind of go transparent. Put it out. There'll be a puff of smoke icon there. Let go of the mouse, and it'll go into a puff of smoke. It's, don't worry, it's not deleted from your hard drive, it's just not in your dock. Okay, so the use of it is um, for quick access, basically. So say, for example, I'm in Safari, and I see something called Apple Homepage I really like, but I need to quickly draw it down. I don't want to have to go into Finder, Applications, uh, yeah, you get the point having to find the thing I want to use to draw it down. That's why I have my Office 2011 folder. You click on that, then click on that, write down what I need, basically, okay? So that's one use for it, basically. Next use is if you're opening an app, like, for example, if you see all these apps are open, the Finder's open, because the Finder's always open, you have a dot underneath, so that's open iChat's open, ScreenFlow's open, and that's it. So another use for it would be if you open, uh, let's say, um, iTunes. I mean Firefox, sorry, I don't know I said iTunes. You'll see it will appear in your dock for quick access, for minimise, um, anything basically so now when I minimize it you'll minimize into the icon now if I hold my left click on the actual icon it'll show me all the windows are open so okay so um, next we're on to the functions that it has so to change everything what you would do is right click where you um these lines would be in between your applications and your folders like the partition and you click doc preferences then your system preferences will come up another way to find it is apple logo system preferences doc and 
another way is circle and dock and dot preferences. Okay. Now your dot preferences are the size of it. Mine is set to large. You can have it really tiny. And you can also have magnification. So if I wanted it to be maximum magnification, smaller than that, I like hover over an app. It's really big so you can see what you're clicking. Okay. This also makes your desktop look really big as well. And really big and you can still have big magnification. But I don't have magnification. You can have um, different position on the screen as well. For example, left, right, and default bottom. Now, obviously, when you have it left and right, you get this 2D looking dock, which I really don't like. Also, when you're minimal minimalizing, some minimalizing something, you use the you can either have genie effect or scale effect. This is genie. It goes down like a genie into its um, thing. That's what it's called. <laughs> and scale. I prefer genie. Scale, yeah. And minimize windows into applications. So, for example, for Antique Dat, it'll minimize in here and not into the Apple the actual application. And when it's opening applications, for example, if I open up FaceTime, normally when I open up FaceTime, it'll bounce up and down like that. Okay. Yeah. Now, if I quit FaceTime, now I take off animation, I'll open something else like a dress book. It won't have its animation. Um, and also automatically hiding your dock. So now your dock is gone. When you put your mouse all the way at the bottom, hold it there for a second, it'll come back up. Okay, so that is functions. Now, one to pros and cons. We're going to start with the pros. Pros of it is that it's quick access to your applications, it tidies up your desktop, and it overall makes your computer look really nice. Now, the cons are uh, that sometimes when you're in a application for example if I go on to Lego Digital Designer and I do free build okay now you can see that the dock is too big it's blocking some of the stuff. So when I want to click something like the minus button here, if you can see, it might open either FaceTime or Fireworks. So yeah, there there is a way to solve this. You can simply um, turn hiding on. It's better. But some people like to show their dock, so that is one problem. Now that was doing one problem. Another problem is some people do this. Some people do this. What should I do? Uh, some people do this. And they go, oh, they panic. They panic that it's gone. No. It's in your um, finder. If you just type in address book, here it is. You can just drag it back into where it was. Okay, so that's an easy thing. They should, there should be a way to lock it, but I don't know. And yeah, that's all I could really find of the pros and cons. So let's see what time we've got. Okay, eight minutes. Good. So basically, yeah, that's um, lesson one of the map for beginners, and that was on the dock. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and don't forget. To